Hmm, get a tragic here. Here's just a very, very quick mod that I um, I built these components for my new Arkham Horror mod. So I just thought maybe other people might like them. They're just simple objects for game boxes. Okay. Uh, so when you use them, they end up looking something like this, which is a, a box I made here. Okay. So it just allows you to very quickly create game boxes and you can turn these into bags, put things in them. You can add, uh, you can actually load up. I've got these boxes now inside my pack up uh, bag. So you can see them in action there. I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a sec. Basically, if you go into the little bags, there's a link or if you hit the notebook, there's a link here. So you can just copy this link and it'll take you to a shared folder on Google Drive. You'll see a couple of JPEGs and some PSD files. So this is the, the JPEG for the, this is the UV map for the big box. So it's just front and then the sides. And then there's the UV map for the little box. Okay. And these, these boxes sort of match the sizes of, uh, you know, the small and big boxes that FFG makes. And there's also uh, PSD files. So if you load at the PSD files, they look something like this. So this just allows you to draw and still keep an eye on the, on the values. You know what I mean? And just see exactly how it works. It's very, very simple to use. So for example, say I wanted to do a thing here, I might go to uh, Board Game Geek. All right, so I might go to Board Game Geek and grab whatever box I'm interested in. Say I want to get the the box to the king in yellow. Copy image. I can just paste this in here. Well, whatever. The point is you do something like this, you just fiddle around and you end up with basically what looks like a pretty nice box. So I'll just save that and I'll just load this up. Custom diffuse image. I'll just go to my incremental saves, local, and there you go. A nice king in yellow box. Very, very simple and very, very easy. And that's pretty much uh, how this works. So like I said, if you go to the link, it gives you all the maps and some PSDs that you might be easy for working if you're used to using Photoshop. I've also added these boxes to my pack up bag box. For those of you that don't know, the pack up bag packs things up based on a scripting zone. I, I made this for a uh, mate of mine who does RPGs and he wanted to be able to like dump out maps and stuff onto the table. So the way this works is very simple. Basically anything in the scripting zone will get packed up into a bag. So if I uh, click pack up on this, this box, this is the demo box. See how it just packs everything up. Note that it didn't pack everything up. That's because of the settings in the box I'll talk about in five seconds but uh, you can dump them all back onto the table. But the interesting thing about this over other pack up bags is that if you change or add things, they will, uh, it'll just, it'll, it'll still pack it up. And this is so you could go into a dungeon, do things, open doors, change things, pick things up. And when the GM packed it up, it would save all that into the bag. But if you go into the scripting, for these bags, uh, all you need to do is adjust the values here. Now, this looks kind of hard to read, so I'm just going to do it in Atom, just so it's a bit easier for you, but you can edit it in the, in the thing. But basically, you just put the zone, the, the GUID of the zone in here, and then you've got this little button that says Additive True. If you have Additive set to False, once you set up the bag, it cannot be changed, right? It just becomes a bag to dump things out. I actually use that a lot in my mods to for setup scripts. So I just set up the game exactly what I want, draw a massive big uh, box around the whole scene, click pack up, goes into the bag, and then it's ready to go. 
And anyway, you got these ignore tags, so you can ignore, ignore by tag, ignore by name, ignore by description, ignore by GUI. And you've also got force by GUI to add things that are not in the zone. And that's so like, you don't want to pick up the table or whatever. You just want to pick up the items that use these things. And that's pretty much it. So if I put this to, if I, if I pack this up, save a demo, And then I go to the scripting on the object and I turn additive false. You'll see now that the little pack up button is gone. So all it can do is spit stuff out. Okay, and that is that is the so that's been added to the, the pack up bags as well. And it's basically just the same object. If you go to the notebook, you've got the link to the, the drive. Anyway, that is that. This is my little simple mod for uh, just making your own boxes. Now, there's a fantastic box mod you might want to check out uh, by that guy with the Daffy Duck logo for, a, for an avatar. He's got more boxes and cut crates and boxes. So this is like a much more advanced version of my mod. Uh, so it's got like nice, awesome little chests and stuff. So there's this as well, if you want to use it. The only reason I didn't use this is that I like making my own stuff. And also I found his, uh, his UV map was a little bit more confusing in my opinion. So I just made my own, but uh, yeah, he's got these really great ones. He's got some fantastic mods actually. And uh, this one here is even more interesting. This one, ha these boxes have insides, so you can use opacity maps on them and like have, you know, like say, say you're, you're doing uh, X-Wing or something, you can actually have the model sitting inside the box and it looks like it's in a plastic view, view area inside the box. Whatever, the point is his mods are awesome. And this is a much more advanced mod of the same thing if you're interested in in boxes for your for your bags but uh yeah if you want something super simple that still looks very good you've got uh mine that's it i'll see you guys next time